In this video, we're going to cover Atari Jaguar emulation on the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch. Ah, the Atari Jaguar. The system that could, couldn't quite do it, I guess. Um, anyway, the Jaguar has such an interesting history and one that I am truly fascinated by and have enjoyed exploring over the last couple of years. Doesn't have the biggest game library, but that's okay. It has some fun ones and just some fun ports of other popular titles from the era. And in this video, we're going to get it set up to play on RetroArch for Xbox Series X and S. Let's dive in. Now to get started with Atari Wagwar emulation on Xbox Series X and S, we need to install the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch if you haven't done so already. Link will be in the description below on how to get this one set up. Next, we're going to need to source some Atari Jaguar games. You can use a hardware dumper or resort to the shady parts of the net on how to get these. I really don't care either way, but don't ask me for illegal download links because they're not going to be provided. Once you have your games sourced, you just need to decide if you're going to store them internally or if you're going to put them on USB. For my example here, I'm going to be dumping them onto my USB flash drive. But once you have your games in place, you can go ahead and close out of everything on the computer and pull your USB flash drive or hard drive out and put it back in your Xbox. After you have your USB drive in place on the Xbox, you can go ahead and get booted into RetroArch. And once RetroArch is finished loading up, we're free to begin loading up Atari Huagwire content. One method to do so is to go to load content. If you have your games stored under USB, they're going to be under E. Find your folder with your games. Select a game, choose a core, tell it to run. If you put them on the internal drive, they're going to be under S. Program files, Windows apps. RetroArch folder, your games folder, find your Atari folder. Select game, choose a core, tell it to run. I don't really care for this method, a lot of submenus and I don't like it, so I'm going to make an Atari games playlist here, and to do so I go to manual scan. Now choose your content directory, again if they're on the internal SSD, follow that S drive path. If you have them on USB, go ahead and go in, select your Atari Jaguar folder, and then for system name we are choosing Atari Jaguar, and default core. Scroll down to Atari, and find Atari Jaguar, virtual Jaguar. Make sure scan recursively is on, and if you have them zipped up, make sure scan inside archives is on, and then you can go ahead and begin the scan. And once the scan's complete, you'll have a new playlist entry here on the left, and then from here we could just go ahead and boot into a game and tell it to run. Hey, and there we go, Atari Jaguar up and running on the Xbox Series X and S, how cool is that? And that's going to do it as far as basic Atari Jaguar emulation setup is concerned. Not a whole lot to this one, just get your games, put them on USB or the internal SSD, and get them up and running. But now let's go ahead and talk about some of the more advanced core options available to us within Virtual Jaguar. Going into our RetroArch quick menu, scroll down to Options. And our first option is Fast Splitter. You can just leave this off. Next, Doom Resolution Hack. This is needed if you want to play the Jaguar version of Doom. It only displays the screen in half the size, so turn this on and that fixes it right up. Next, the BIOS option, we can leave this off. And then if you have PAL region games, you could select if you are going to be using PAL stuff here. And that does it as far as core options for the Virtual Jaguar core are concerned. And that's going to do it for this video. So as always, if you happen to have any questions about getting Atari Wagwire set up and running, feel free to ask in the comments section below. And if you feel the need to correct any of my pronunciation during today's episode, hopefully the joke was obvious that I just don't care how it's pronounced and I will say things the way I want to say them. But anyway, that's that. Now, if you could all do me a huge favor, and please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. It goes a long way to helping the growth of the place and keeping it going, and we're super grateful to all of you for that. And if you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Every little bit helps keep the place going and bringing more update vids and satirical content about pronunciation your way. We're super grateful to all of our current backers. Y'all are champions. Thank you for believing in what we do and for helping us along for the last few years. Y'all are amazing. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome and we will see you back next video.